Guys, this is a quick video on conductors and insulators. So I'm going to show you what will and won't conduct electricity. First, we'll start on the boring ones, the insulators. So these are materials that shouldn't conduct electricity. We've got a piece of wood here, so we'll start on that. And a 400,000 volt transformer. So as you can see, the wood doesn't conduct electricity until I get close which is when it jumps from the two leads. So, dry wood doesn't come from electricity. Next we've got a piece of cardboard, also made out of wood. So what do we think is gonna happen? It's probably not gonna conduct electricity. So, the cardboard doesn't conduct electricity until the arc gets close enough to jump across the two probes, which is what it will do. Next up, we've got another insulator. We've got some bubble wrap, which is basically plastic with some air in it. So bubble wrap, again, does not conduct electricity. Well, let's move on to the more interesting ones anyway. So this is a metal spoon. As you all probably know, metal is a conductor, so it should conduct electricity. electricity. Next we've got a piece of wet cardboard. Now because the cardboard is covered in water, and we'll get to water in a minute, water is generally a conductor so at this point the cardboard piece of wood. So again, the wet piece of wood will just about conduct electricity. Only just, but it does conduct electricity. So now we've got a tub of water. Another tub of water is a rather good conductor, so that will conduct electricity. Riley's favourite drinks. We've got some vodka. Let's see, if, let's see what the vodka does. Find that, um, find that little thing wherever it's gone. There it is. Let's chuck that in there. This it will go. We have a piece of semiconductive plastic from one of my electric cables. Now, this is neither a conductor or an insulator, it's a bit of both. So, let's see how that goes. As you see, it does conduct electricity, however, quite a high resistance, so it only lets a little bit of electricity through, and as you get further down it, it gets stronger. So there's our conductors and insulators, guys. Thank you for watching.